in this video I'm going to show you how to test your car battery to see if it's good going or bad by using a multimeter this Land Rover Discovery Sport started giving a low battery warning on the dash so that prompted me to charge it and then I left that worked fine for a couple of weeks and then the low battery warning came back and I ignored it for six days and then the tailgate stopped working so I charged it up again so it looks like this battery may be going but now I'm going to show you how to check using a multimeter so the first thing to do is make sure your leads are plugged into the right part of the motor multimeter volts and common ground and then uh, you turn the dial to DCV 15 volts or higher this has got a 20 volt setting and you take your positive and negative leads connect the negative to the negative side and the positive to the positive side of the battery make sure you connect to the right side that's the negative that's the positive now a good battery should read 12.6 volts or higher the more it's below that then the worse the state of the battery let's see what this battery is is it going to be 12.6 or lower okay we get a 12.3 so this that's the first sign that this battery may be going that's your first sign that okay it could be worse but it should be 12.6 volts or higher the next test is to actually turn the engine on and then see what it drops if the further it drops it shouldn't drop below 10 for a good battery but the further it drops below 10 the worse the state of the battery uh, if it goes below 7.5 7 volts then it's basically your batteries yeah, come to the end of its life so hopefully it won't drop below 10 but if it does it won't go below 7 which means the battery is come, come to the end of its life these batteries are supposed to have a five year life and this one's only two and a half year old Land Rover batteries yeah it's got Jaguar Land Rover written on it made by Varta for Jaguar Land Rover Anyway, let's see what it drops down to. Start the engine. We're going to rewind to see what the drop was, but at least the alternator is charging the battery. At least the alternator is working fine, 14.7. So let's see what it dropped down to. As soon as I turn the engine off, it's dipped back below 12.6 pretty fast. <laughs> Going lower, it's gone below where it was. That's the effect of the starting the engine. No, starting the engine is going to draw current, a lot of current. No, it's settled at 12. So replaying the footage shows that the voltage did not dip below 10. So this battery is good. So why is it only 12 volts? Could be a, some kind of power drain going off somewhere else in the car. That could be the problem. Or maybe that the battery's been run down, never allowed to fully charge. Like I said, I've, I've left it for 24 hours 
to fully charge the well, it won't be fully charged. But if it was empty, but it wasn't empty. We've got at least 20 amp hours into it over 24 hours. So that's how you check your car battery. This car battery is good, but something is draining on it. Either it's the driving style. There's some electronics that are coming on or staying on. That's draining the battery slowly, which means I have to charge it once every so often when the low battery warning comes off. But this test showed that the battery is good. It didn't fall below 10 volts. And also that the alternator is good.